Charles is a prisoner on your stamp. I'm afraid so. Ever since 1930, I think. I call him the boy in the bow. Poor Charles. What do you think went wrong? I don't know. Some greedy collector saw his stamp was different and took him off the envelope before it was delivered. Not I, I can assure you. Hey, hey, what if we put the blue nose back on a letter and mail him to ourselves? That way, we might be able to bring Charles back to life. Would it work? Maybe. The rule is that if a stamp traveler is delivered to the address on the envelope, he should logically be set free. What a marvelous idea. We should address them to my house. I do have the nicest house. Your house? You talk him to death. Bert, better than your slum tricker. Look, he's coming to our house. There's two of us. Yes, it was my idea. Fine. Anyways, probably the same age as Mr. Bronson here. Thank you. Why? Work it out. He got on the stamp in 1930. He's probably our age when he got on. That'd make him 76, I think. He may be still frozen in time. You mean he could still be 12? Uh -huh. We've got to try and set him free. Kids, carrot cakes and date squares? All right, yeah. excellent. And if he's old, he could stay with you, couldn't he, Mr. Bronson? Yes, yes, of course. And if he's young, he can stay with us. Uh -huh. And if he's in between, he can work for my father. You have to ask your father. Come on, Charles. Let's go. Trigger's the name. Tommy Trigger. What's happening, Tommy? Come on, let's go. Woohoo! I've had a relapse! Charles, he's gone! Yeah! Yes! Hey, Tommy! 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 I saw you on that Australian stand. How was the trip? It was great. Where are you off to next? Wherever life takes. Huh. Hey, Tommy, how, how... See you later, Jack. How do you do it? Tommy, of course. Oh, my gosh. Don't worry, Mr. Bronson, leave it to me. Ralph, can I take your bike? Uh, sure. Hey, Tommy. Did you really go to Australia to stamp, Tom? There and back, my little bud. Quick, into the cave. Oh, sorry, I thought you were the candle. You're nuts. Now, Cass, you're about to have a great honor. You're going to meet the boy you invented. Stamp travel. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
See this? What's that, Tommy? This is the boy in the bow. His name's Charles, and he's gonna make us a fortune. A fortune? Oh boy, how? By being got off the stamp, my loyal bud. This you tell no one. Sure, Tommy. Not even your pet snake. Share Charles with the others. Maybe, maybe they'll like you again. Stop that nonsense, okay? Now listen. You know my dream about having an island? What island? The kingdom for kids, you wuss. Oh, that island. The one with the castle, the dog. The tourists and... The money-making one? Yeah. Oh, I get it. Here, look at this. Now this is top secret. This shows how much I trust you, okay? Wow, that's pretty. Now this is Sorrel. There are hundreds of islands there. And some have no people on them. Not yet, you mean, don't you? Now you get it. Me, you, and Charles are going to have an island. Charles will be the king, and I'll be, like, the business manager. And me, Tommy? Shh, listen, just a minute. Hey, quick, get up there. Sounds like it's raining. What do you see? Ah, it's warm. What happened? Tommy, I, I thought it was a drain pipe. Disgusting! I didn't mean it! Boy! Pain in his eye! It was an accident! You did it on purpose! Tommy! Tommy, it's okay! It's not okay! Yeah, well, you stole the blue nose. Me? Steal the blue nose? Never. Just borrowing it. It's down there. Well, then give it back then. Okay, I'll show him where the blue nose is. Come on, Albert, you want it? Go get it. What are you, Kentucky? Go get it. Or are you too chicken? It's down there. Quick, get the bricks! Tommy, man, is he disgusting. Let me out. Bye, Albert. Don't go. A nine-year-old Metro. Hi. Hi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ticklish, Deb, aren't you? Yeah, Debbie's ticklish. Yeah. Oh, Debbie, look. Tommy's got something to show you. See that a man on the stamp? That's a man. Not a girl. It's a boy. His name's Charles. And Tommy's going to get him out the stamp so he can play with you. Hey, Tommy. Can I have a look? Hey, Bob. Hey, what's up? See my dad? Yeah, he was in the What's going on, kid? Huh? Well, I've 
got an idea. It's more of a dream. Dream? <laughs> We all have dreams. <coughs> We all have dreams, don't we? <coughs> Albert, you in there? No, I left a few minutes ago. Oh. Of course I am. Thanks, Cass. Yeah, but don't tell anybody, okay? You don't tell anyone either. Hey, did you get it back? Oh, my hair is full of dirt. Don't do that on Mr. Box's floor. Well, no, I didn't get it back. But I heard everything. By the way, we can work on Cass. Okay, you get this. He's setting up this kingdom for kids. And... Charles is going to be his king, and he'll produce stamps with Charles' picture on them. Then he'll sell the stamps to people like tourists, and he'll make big bucks. All this will take place on a little island in Sorel. He's a genius. Shut up, Ralph. Would it work? I think it might. There are private islands which issue their own stamps. Come, I'll show you. Lundy, for example. It is a private island with its own stamps. Herm Island, same thing. Kobak Island, same thing. If Tommy made his own stamps, who'd buy them? Stamp collectors. They love buying stamps from strange little places. Stamps from the Isles of Sorel would be quite strange. Hey, Sorel! Sorel. That's where Dad and Gran lives. We've got to go to Sorel and stop them. We'll go by stamp. Of course. Oh, darn. I guess I can't go. I have my stamp clinic tomorrow. Albert, this is much more important. It is not. If I miss my stamp clinic, little kids will be crying. They'll be losing their stamp. I mean, the whole club will be in ruins. All these kids will be upset. Uh, their stamp books will look horrible. Uh, Do you want that to uh, Nance, happen? I think you should go ahead. Uh, I'll stay and go with Bert. I wish you wouldn't do this. You don't have to prove that you're brave, you know. Ralph, don't be such a worrier. This is dangerous, Nancy. Look. Charles' life is in danger. There's no time for personal fears. Now, out of my way, please. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Go! I'm ready to sink. I'm ready to shrink. I'm ready to ride the stamp. I have no fear at all at all. I have no fear at all. <gasps> She left out a line. I go! Nancy, quick! Stay the missing line. I'm ready the world to trap. You're completely crazy. Yeah, you're right, but... Don't you kids know you should always mail, follow mail?
to invest in my island kingdom? What island kingdom? The one that's going to have its own stamps. Like these. Never. Not a chance. Come on, get out of here. Come hey, on. So, uh, what do you want me to do with these slight imperfections? Slight imperfections? We made these? I'm afraid so. I know you. <laughs> Have a nice trip. Jack! Jack! Over here. Come here, I got something to show you. Look at these. Do you want them? <laughs> and what would I want to do with those? Well, you know, you guys are always getting bitten by dogs. Yeah? Well, instead of biting you, they'll bite the extra legs. <laughs> what? Here, Cass will demonstrate. <laughs> Look, uh... Uh, thanks for the pants, but I think I'll stick with these. <laughs> hey, hey, by the way, your girlfriend? <laughs> She's going to Sorel. What do you mean? You know, the girl that lives in the stone house. Um, Nancy. She's going to Sorel on a stamp. What do you know? Following us already and we haven't even left yet. Thanks for the tip, Jack. <laughs> sure you don't want these? Uh, no. <laughs> okay, see you later. Bye-bye, <laughs> Nancy. Thank <laughs> you. 
Very good. Keep on going in that direction. Very nice. Uh oh. This is serious. Everybody, this is serious. You've mixed Australian and New Zealand stamps. You can't do that. Each country to its own page, please. Can, Can we, we fix, fix it? it? Mm, perhaps. Do this and your collection should be okay. Oh, Nancy, what happened to you? Come inside, dear. I think we should be going to Sorel. Uh-oh. This is terrible. You stuck them in. Well, they had glue on them. Of course they had glue on them. Was for sticking them on letters, not in albums. They've just lost 70% of their value. Soak them off and start again. I phoned Daddy Grant. Nancy's overdue. She's not overdue, Ralph. You just mailed her yesterday. Does it look like an island? Doesn't matter if it looks like an island, Cass. Wherever Charles gets out the stamp is going to be a famous place. Because everyone is going to want to come here and meet the mysterious boy from the past. And buy stamps, of course. So cheer up. Come on, Cass. Put up the tent before you get wet. Oh, put up the tent, Cass. Before you get wet. Well, I'm already wet. The toilet could go here, and the souvenir gift shop could go over there. Okay, Cass, put the tent right there. Perfect. Now all we need is the banjo. Like it here, Tom? Of course he will. You like it here, don't you? A cheeseburger would be nice.
What is it? Hi there. Gaetan? That is your name, isn't it? Who wants to know? Me, Tommy. Boy, was I getting desperate. <laughs> Tommy. Tommy who? Tommy Tricker. Who's damn dealer? And that's my partner, Cass. Okay. Well now, Mr. Tommy Tricker, what's the hurry to see me? I Make want... it fast. It's my bedtime. May I? Sure. Thanks. But don't touch my cookies. Wow. A floating shop. It's... it's... genius. Mm-hmm. Hey, hey, I read about you in the paper. <laughs> you read about me in the paper, eh? I read about your floating post office, too. I wonder how it works, because I'd just love to know. Ah, my post office. Yeah. That, I admit, is genius. It's down below. Hey, Cass, go on back and guard Charles, will ya? Sure, Tommy. Come on. Whatever you say, Tommy. Of course, Tommy. Ah, here you are. Meet my friend. This is Freddy. And this is Banjo Post. Hmm. Perfection. Look. This one is going to a boyfriend. She mm. writes to him every day from Paris. <laughs> what a love affair. Hmm? I just love it. Banjo Post. I love it. You know, Gaeta, it's amazing. My idea fits in so beautifully with yours. Your idea? <laughs> Sorry, I have enough of my own. Huh? Gaetan, listen. I've come all this way just to see you. Oh, yeah? Look at this. These are all stamps from islands that nobody's ever even heard of. But somebody has made the stamps and sold them. To who? To collectors. We could do the same. <laughs> what do you mean? We could make stamps and put your boat on them. My boat? Yeah, and Charles. <laughs> Who's Charles? Never mind, I'll tell you about that later. But all you have to do is deliver one letter here. Here? Yeah, and the whole thing starts. Ha! Oh, gotcha! Nancy! Give me that. Who are you expecting? Come on, Cass. Let me take him back. I mean, I know you caught me, but you can't let Charles off the stamp here. <laughs> we got a guy here. He's going to deliver the stamp for us. So what? What if Charles gets off the stamp and he's sick? There's no doctor here, and it's stupid to risk his life for some crazy island scheme. Please. It's not much further, Gaetan. Better be good, Mr. Tricker. No, I can't. Well, if anything happens to him, anything at all, 
It's all your fault. Come here. Can I join your team? <laughs> no. I'll forget it. Oh no, where'd he go? Where'd he go? I can't. Where is he? Where were you? Taking a pee. <laughs> Here, look. That is Charles. Sure. Come on. He's been a prisoner in this stamp for 64 years. Oh, not 63. <laughs> we could get him off. You can deliver him here, and he'll be free. He'd be 76 years old, but looking like he's 12. Imagine the publicity, Gaten. Mm -hmm. Sorry. But why? This is not a proper address. Banjo Post doesn't deliver to tents. A house. We'll build a house. Come on, give us a break. We just got here. <laughs> Sorry. Wait! Take us with you, then. Sorry. Not going your way. We'll go anyway. Sorry, not going that way either. We don't want to stay here. Please? I don't like pushy kids. Sleep well. I blew it. Chance of a lifetime. Hey, look who's here. <laughs> Can't kids have dreams too? Hey, Freddy. Freddy, your father's coming back to get you. Hey guys, have you seen my ferret? Great. Wander right back. in your foot. Mom was screaming, burn the tent down, you burn the tent down. <laughs> we all laughed so hard that day. I wish you were still with us as a family. I love you, Dad. I really love you. By the way, where have you been? Mom, it's vacation time. Oh, wait, just a sec. Do you know this address? Charles is gonna love it here. Salut, guys. He says he's a friend of yours, Tom. I've got another stamp traveler for you. I know. We mail them to ourselves. Uh, well, uh, I'd like to stay, but... 
See you later, Jack. Yeah, see you, Tommy. So what do you want, Gaita? Look at these. Wow. Look, he made stamps and put the banjo on them. All that's missing now is the picture of your little friend there. If you don't want to do it, sell him to me. We couldn't sell Charles. We, he's just about to be set free. Right, Cass? Yeah, no way. Three hundred dollars. I really want to do it. Don't do anything while I'm gone, okay, Tom? Of course I won't. I wouldn't sell Charles. Pinky swear. Cass? Nancy? What do you want? Look, what's happening to Charles? Uh, he's just been delivered and uh, he should be off the stamp soon. <laughs> I don't believe you. I want to see you, Cass. Look, I can't talk now. Um, I have to go, okay? Cass, Goodbye. don't hang up on me. <laughs> you young devil. You set this whole thing up, didn't you? It's all an act, huh? With you, everything's an act. Happy, sad, stop and go. <laughs> it's all an act, right? So, of course, you'll take the money. It's just a question of there being a bit more, right? But what will I say to Cass? Well, that Charles is in good hands. No! Kina for kids! Me and you, Cass! Stop! Uh oh, ah, uh oh, man, that hurts. Let me in! It was just a trick! Hurry, go, 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 go! Come on, guys! You were gonna sell it for $400! Cass, 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 Cass! You're supposed to get the window! Shut the window! Cass, Cass! Get the door! Don't be hysterical, Albert! Cass, 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 Cass! Yes! Go, 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 go! Right, please! It was just a trick! Let me in! Please! Climbing up the ladder. Then close the curtains, Cass. Wait, wait, wait. You gotta change the address. Has to be this address. <sighs> At last.
I think he's dead. Maybe it's just muscle spasms. He's not dead. Albert Inglewood, Stamp Club President. This is Ralph, former stamp traveler. And this is his sister, Nancy. And last but not least, Cass. Do you read me? Over. I'll go get her something to drink. be connected to Charles. This is definitely his briefcase. See, look. Charles Merriweather. Do you see that? She reacted. Do you know Charles? Charles is our friend. We have reason to believe he's a prisoner on a stamp. We were expecting Charles, not you. Hey, Charles. Welcome to... Girl. That does it. If he's allowed in, I'm leaving. Look, you've seen her. Now get out. You're not welcome here, Tricker. And you too, Cass? You were going to sell him. I mean her. How could you do that? Very bad person. Must have nothing to do with him. Don't believe everything you hear, eh? Molly. Molly. Molly who? You're Charles' sister? She's his sister. Awesome! I must get back to him. He's sick. She said that Charles was too sick to leave London. So she came instead. She wants to go back. Shirley wants to see him bad. <laughs> she thinks it's 1930. You mean... You didn't tell her what year this is? No, not yet. We didn't dare. How can I see her? I'm sorry, you can't. Oh. Molly! This is a cuisinart. It chops. Out of my way. This is a chip maker. Makes great fries. Out of my way. And this is a mixing wand. It beats. The corn pumper. Juice extractor. Oh, 
the waffle maker. Oh, I love it. And the toaster. And this is a microwave. Molly, you've got to pay attention. You have to know what all this stuff is. Otherwise, people will guess you're from the past. And you'll be a freak. I don't care what other people think. I just want to go home. Sweetie, we don't know how to get you home. Molly, look at this. This is really fun. What do you want? I want to see Molly. You can't. Why not? She likes me. She smiled at me. Not anymore. We told her everything. Like trying to sell her? Well, but what's it like for her, please? Being so old, but looking so young. She's just sad. Please let me come in. Just a second. keeps track of everything we eat, every day. When's your birthday? October 14. Pea soup, cheeseburger, home fries, and orange shell. That's what we had on your last birthday. What is this thing? This? It's a PC compatible. Yeah, but what is it? It's a bunch of microchips. Microchips? Look, here's Charles' briefcase. There's probably some stamps in it. That's what you really wanted, wasn't it? No, wait, please, no! Do you really need all these things? To be happy? I don't know. Hey, why don't we have a party for you? We'll have music and dancing. It'll be great. No, I don't want a party. I just want to go home. Let me go. I want to find my brother. He's sick. Look, he's not sick. You're, well, you left home a long time ago. No. Many, many years have passed, and if Charles is still alive, he's a very no. old man. An old man? That's ludicrous. He's just a little blonde boy. Not anymore, Molly. He's not old. Come inside. I'll tell you the whole story. I'm not old, so why should he be old? Because you were frozen in time. You know, in a way, you're very lucky.
Hi, Molly. I brought you some records from the thirties. Your time, Charleston. Have you seen Molly? Yeah. No, I haven't seen her anywhere. I want to be your friend. Your true friend. What's wrong? Why are you hiding your face? Let me take it off. Please let me take it off. Getting worse, isn't it? May I? My beautiful hands, they never even, even washed a single dish. <laughs> it's gruesome. Is it like that all over? Hmm. So there you are. I've spoken to Dr. Satchel. He thinks that Molly should be examined as soon as possible. He's booked a room for her at the geriatric clinic tomorrow. What's a geriatric clinic? It's a place for old people, sweetie. No! Nancy, we have to find out what's happening to her. We're not going to stick her in a place with old people, Mom. She has to. We can't take care of her. Where's my case, Nancy? I must go. Good. No. I am returning to London, Mrs. James. My brother Charles is waiting for me. Oh. See? She's not going to a clinic. It's not her choice to make. You must pack tonight, Molly. They'll be here for you tomorrow morning. She's not going! Yes, she is, Nancy. It's been decided. Then I'm going with her! No, you're not! It's Tommy. And he's wearing my clothes. Where did he get them from? Old school. Come on, let's go. Why are you wearing my clothes? I had to get you to follow me. That's no excuse. 
I opened your bag, too. Worse and worse. But I found something that might help us. A dart. Do you remember anything about a dart? A dart? This. How strange. Also, I found a letter from Charles. From Charles? Here's what it says. My dearest Molly, if something goes wrong, trust this old dart. It may not look like much, but it has magical powers. It can bring you back to me. Back to me? All you have to do is throw it at the biggest map of the world you can find. Yours forever, Charles. Hmm. Charles did mention something about a map and a dart. I know where the map is. We should throw the dart at this. Whoever the dart points at goes. Are you ready? Yep. Here goes nothing. Take care of her, I promise. Tommy, if you go back to London in the 20s, how will you get back to the future? Me, stuck in the past? I'll get back. Bon voyage. Bye, Molly. I hope you get better. I'll really miss you. You too.
changed. That must be Big Ben. Maybe it's my kingdom at last. And the Thames, it's so clean. Molly! My bag! And the dart! Tommy, you're in London too. It's wonderful. Molly. Molly, this isn't London. <laughs> it's not. It isn't even England. But don't worry, I've got my stamps. We could always ride one home. If we can find a mailbox. supposed to take us to London. Instead, it brought us here. Where are we? You're in the Cook Islands, in the South Pacific. Can you help us, Toa? She's getting much worse. Maybe. Tomorrow. Tamahitiawe <laughs> I said, are we going to London? Sit down, Molly. You're going to upset the boat. I want to do the Charleston. Charles loves the Charleston. Sit down. You're going to upset the boat. Sit down! Will you sit down, Molly? Molly, sit down! <laughs> Molly, I'm coming! <laughs> Come on, back to the move. Go ahead! Get up on my shoulders. Run! 
something bad. No! What is that? It's just the coconut crab. Come. from Canada. This is my sister Mara. Hi there. Hi. She's pretty sick. Hi. How are you feeling? Oh, what's this? Wow! You've got Cook Island stamps. the best collection on the island. His stamps have special powers. That's why he shows them to you. He said I must go into the hills and get some medicine plants for her. Want to come? Sure. Thank you. you want to do? Let's wait and see if he is a true friend or not. Hi kids! How's it going? Fine. Tropical rainforest. Beautiful, eh? Come. There it is. That's the one. Is that true? Just the purple ones will kill you. Yeah! 
You gotta be joking. No, I'm not. Uh, jeez. Oh, you get it. She's your friend. So... take these so why well to tell you the truth where i come from these are worth a fortune uh don't worry we don't value them much over here you got a lot now happy yes yes a thousand times yes <laughs> there must be two thousand bucks here your most precious stamps. Precious stamps? I don't have any precious stamps. You sure? Sure. She must have stamps all over her body. That's the only thing that can save her. Covering stamps like a tattooed lady? That's stupid. Tommy, it worked for someone else. For who? Look, that person got old and was cured by me, just like this, with stamps. Who? Never mind who. I'm gonna give you stamps or not. Dog, you must come. 
come. Auntie won't get married without you. Even if I did have precious stamps, it wouldn't work. It's a waste. I said it's a waste. <laughs> Why do you keep saying I have stamps? I don't have any stamps. I'm gonna go find a mailbox. We're getting out of here. Charles, you're too young. This is just a cheap trick. Give up the stamps. You're not Charles. Charles loves his sister. He would have shown up before now. She must be cured by her best friend. What does that have to do with me? We thought that might be you. So? We see we were wrong. Shut up. Are you anybody's best friend? Shut up! Now I'm gonna make more. What the fuck? Paparangi! Here's my stamps. Paparangi! Good. Put in there. Here's my fortune. I think I should. I'm not... Her best friend? If we do it together, we can't be wrong. Can we? Maybe we're both best friends. Are you really Charles? Of course. But you look so young. I got younger after I got old. That's me before I got younger again. So, after Molly didn't come back, you followed her on a stamp? Yes, this one, George the Fifth. And you got collected? Yes. But Toa brought you back to life. And you got cured like this? With stamps all over you? Yes. The fish will look nice on his stomach, won't they? Mm-hmm. 
No, no. Go away, boy. This is Gil Swift now. Okay, I'll do her face. second, Nance. Someone here wants to talk to you. Molly, come here. It's Nancy. Hello? Hello? Nancy? It's me. Molly, how are you? I'm wonderful. It's so marvelous. I'm just ludicrously happy. What happened? Are you better? Of course. Nancy, you won't believe it. But we found Charles. In, in London? London? No, in the Cook Islands. He's 
young. He's younger. My brother. That's marvelous. Wow. Well, that is marvelous. Did Tommy help you? Oh, yeah. He was really good. Say something nice to him. He really likes you. Tommy? Yeah? Uh, I missed you. I missed you, too. Are you coming back? Yeah. By dart or by step? Um, actually, neither. Gotta go. See you soon. Thank you.
What's happening to me? Get me at all 